back at my workbench and uh, we can already see that it's severely cluttered so I think it's time to do a clear out special where I see some items around there that I think are interesting and try to make a video about them. And first up on the list is this toy locomotive. Now I got this as a gift from my grandmother who had it for a long time and didn't know what to do with it. Uh, and I was actually interested because if you hear the sound of the uh, wheels as you turn them it sounds like it's got a motor inside it but uh, well as some people that are smarter in, in these matters than I am say she don't chooch. And the reason is this. If you can look here, um, perhaps like that, you can see that there is some wire that has been obviously chewed off. And that's a possibility because in the place that this was stored there have been discovered many mice. Therefore, it is possible that somebody has just thrown off the connector here or something, uh, therefore it doesn't really behave as a locomotive would, in the sense that there is no power to it. However, it does have these LEDs here in the front, uh, somewhere in the actual cabin and in the back, so I think that it's a good idea to take this apart, to take out the motor and the LEDs and to make it more compact for uh, well, throwing it out, basically. And just by taking three screws out of this back plate it comes off, revealing uh, this contraption with um, this part being attached by some sort of plastic and uh, gearbox. And I think it merits further investigation. The gearbox itself comes up quite easily uh, without even having to undo the four screws I did. And but the actual red piece is held on by something black in there, and I'm not sure what it is. So it turns out that this is a continuation of this piece, which is friction fit into the. Oh no, it's actually it's not friction fit, it's actually glued here, but the glue has dried out over the years. So, anyway, there's the motor, uh, and it has a small capacitor across its smart 104. Out one uh, of these small capacitors, it's three of them, and how are they connected then? Uh, one of these, one zero for one and four zero, so that's a thousand picofarads or one nanofarad, I believe, I'm not sure. Um, one is connected directly across the terminals, but the other two are connected from the two terminals to a solder blob on the body, uh, which is going to be connected to where? I wonder. Yeah, let's just see if it works at 3 volts, it's uh, spinning, spinning quite rapidly, I would say. So, but the body is not connected to ground, so I think that what they're doing here is using the actual body of the motor as some sort of connection point uh, to connect these two capacitors between the legs. So that be what? So what they've got here, I think, is the motor uh, with a capacitor across it and then two series capacitors connected across that. So that would be one nanofarad, one nanofarad, and one nano third so those two would be equal to 
0.5 nanofarads and 1 nanofarad across that means that uh, there's a total capacitance of um, uh, 1.5 nanofarads if I remember how capacitors are connected in series and parallel which I may well not but anyway back to the device itself um, as it turns out the uh, parts that I showed you that I fault for LEDs are not because they are actually created by this light guide thing uh, which is coupled to um, here where there's a small light bulb is it a light bulb? I think it is a light bulb I don't know what voltage to run that well there's one way to find out that that's as well as hooking it up so I'm just going to turn off uh, this light over here and put the negative onto there being careful not to snap the solar connections as they are quite flimsy in this thing and at 3 volts oh yeah it does light up fantastic so all this leaves is this part uh, which has a couple of screws there I don't think there will be much a reason to undo them but I'll do it anyway and there's this some sort of metal piece that makes uh, this all weighted somehow I wonder if I can unglue that and the answer is yes this is the actual metal part that slots into here and makes the bulk of the weight of this thing so now I'm thinking that I'm doing those screws under there would only remove this top piece mm, let's find out yeah all it did is just open up this part here and drop out uh, four of these uh, plastic pieces and uh, of course relinquish the screws holding that okay so because this is a clear out special I think I'm going to be binning all of the uh, plastic pieces the large ones I mean that make up the body of it um, and the small ones like these uh, uh, how do you call them connectors between the wheels but I'm keeping the wheels um, I'm from I'm doing that too uh, and I'm keeping all the electronic parts the uh, heavy metal thing and the screws so not a whole lot but then again what do you expect from I was actually expecting some LEDs in that but well you know